Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of hyperbolic trigonometric equations, where we are going to solve one very interesting equation, sine hyperbolic x equal to 1. So let's talk about in this video, what is hyperbolic function and what is the difference between conventional trigonometric function and hyperbolic function. Then we will end up this video using Desmos graph also. So let's get started. I will begin with the general formula which we use to write sine hyperbolic x. This is called one expression with exponentiation which is e power x minus e raised to the power minus x over 2. This is something very very important formula. You can say formula it is. Now important point is if e power x minus e power minus x over 2, I am going to plot using exponential graphs which we know already. We can conclude our sine hyperbolic graph. Okay. So let me let me begin with the end behavior, please. End behavior. So I will write x tending to minus infinity, where this function will go. Sine hyperbolic x. So I will write here e raised to the power minus infinity minus e raised to the power plus infinity over 2. It is like that. So this value first value will be 0 and it is infinity. So overall I am getting minus infinity. This is one point important point. So if I am putting one sketch in my mind then once I am taking x tending to minus infinity my graph is like that. Now come to limit x tending to infinity. So again I will do the same job. I will write e power infinity minus e power minus infinity over 2. Now e power infinity is lying in between 2 and 3. So that value will be infinite and this value will be this time 0 over 2. So overall value is infinity. That means once I am tending towards infinity on plus x axis, this is moving towards infinity. So one, one point is clear. Now what is the basic difference between trigonometric function and hyperbolic trigonometric function? Trigonometric function sin x I am talking about. So we used to consider the analysis based on unit circle. In general the unit circle analysis. If you remember that complex number analysis then we used to consider one coordinate cos theta comma sin theta on unit circle. Then we used to write because of this is unit circle then this length is cosine theta and this length is sin theta. Okay. Once we will talk about or discuss about sin hyperbolic x or cosine hyperbolic x it will be only on hyperbolic unit circle or unit hyperbolic circle. That means this point is minus 1, 1 and equation will be x square minus y square is equal to 1. One more difference is there. Sine function will oscillate on x axis. See if you remember that graph that will oscillate on x axis but hyperbolic won't. It won't oscillate. Okay. So this is our general formula. Now we can draw the graph also how it will be e power x. So this is the graph of e power x. Now let me change this color and I will draw the graph of e power minus x. So this is the graph of e power minus x. Then now what is required minus of e power minus x. So I will take mirror image with respect to x axis. I will draw my graph. This is my minus of e power minus x. Now I have to add the red one and the blue one to get our sine hyperbolic graph. Okay. Once I will add both this one let me draw the red one e power x because of e power x is there minus of e power minus x. So if I will add both then I will be having this graph. This is graph of sine hyperbolic x. Simply by adding you will get your 
and see it is not only adding it is averaging the value that is the perfect word okay let's solve our problem so i will write e power x minus e power minus x over 2 equal to 1 multiply both sides with 2 e power x minus e power minus x equal to 2 then I will write e power minus x as our strong exponent property. Power will be positive once we will take reciprocal. So I will write e power x minus e power. Let me multiply both sides with e power x. Better is to multiply. Done. Now this will give us e power 2x minus 1 equal to twice e power x. Take all the terms to left hand side. So e power 2x minus 2 e power x minus 1 equal to 0. Now e power 2x we can write e power x whole square. This is using property of exponent a power b whole power c equal to a power bc. So I will write this is my e power x whole square. 2 times e power x minus 1 equal to 0. Now I will substitute e power x is equal to y suppose. Okay. Now this equation will convert into quadratic y square minus 2y minus 1 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. I will write a equal to 1, b equal to minus 2 and c equal to minus 1 or negative 1. So I will write y will be equal to minus b so 2 plus minus square root b square so 4 minus 4ac so 4 over 2a 2. So this is square root 8 over 2. Then in next step I will write 2 plus minus 2 root 2, 4 times 2, so that 4 will come out as 2 over 2. So ultimately y value is 2, let me divide this one, 1 plus minus square root 2. This is our y. Now what, what was our y substitution? e power x. Now you can see, if I will write here, 1 plus square root 2 and 1 minus square root 2. What is the value of square root 2? That is 1.414. So overall conclusion is this value is negative value and exponential cannot be negative. So we will reject this value. Rejected. So which value is accepted? This one is accepted. Okay, so I will write e power x is equal to 1 plus square root 2, take ln both sides. So I will get x is equal to ln 1 plus square root 2 and if you will check this value, then you will be having your answer 0. Point, let me show you graph also 0. 0.881. Okay. Let's see the graph. See, so it is the graph of sine hyperbolic function, this red color graph. So it will pass through origin once it is not there. See, I have taken minus 1 here. So it is shifted 1 unit downwards. Okay. And that time it will intersect x axis at 0 point. It is written 881. And this is the value of ln 1 plus root 2, which is which we calculated. I hope you like this video. This is something new, hyperbolic function. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck.